All right, and we are back here for our Winter Box tournament at Etten Games. I'm Justin, back with Grant, and uh, unfortunately, we have a really slow player today <laughs> at this tournament. As we were just talking about how most round matches are 15 to 20 minutes, he goes around both <laughs> times. Uh, and uh, Matthew Mendoza, why are you doing this to us? <laughs> it's not good for our viewers, okay? Uh, we're trying to keep things moving along smoothly, and you're over here, you know, taking... 20 minutes to decide what card you want to play. <laughs> and he blames it on Dooku. Yeah, okay. Because Dooku takes forever to kill. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, whatever. Vibro knife. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so anyways, round three, uh, we're going to have Desmond. Uh, we're, so we're going to get to see Mace Mazigan playing against Trey's Sabine Ezra. So we just saw Sabine Ezra, and I actually spoke to Brandon after that match, and he wasn't aware that Sabine could play a weapon from the discard pile. He thought that oh. it had to say Thermal. Which... Oh. That is a mistake that I, I made when I first read the card. I, I actually had to read it, you know, 16 times to right. figure out um, that she could actually play a weapon. So, uh, Grant's just reaching across me. He's trying to, to yeah, we'll just update our layout. <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty... That looks a little weird. <laughs> so, so, yeah, Brandon was aware unaware that you could play a weapon. Um, so... That's probably why it looked like he was playing a little suboptimally at times. Right. And, that makes uh, it a whole lot more sense now. I, I also told him about that he was able to infamous the cheat and bring back the second chance, and he was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I missed that. So, yeah. um, And I had a discussion with Michael about his decision to discard the Repost in round one, and he said his other card was, in fact, the Return of the Jedi. So that's why he got rid of the Repost, because it was either he discards... The guaranteed, oh, right. or he get wants it back for more damage so, later. Yeah, good play, good play there. Yep. I mean, he won, so. <laughs> right. Yeah. What do What do I know? Yep. We're just two talking heads. <laughs> so we're just getting the layup set out for you guys. So we have the appropriate names and deck lists, so that we don't get chewed out in the comment section like yeah. Uh, yeah. a lot of <laughs> streams do. Luckily, these players get up, set up fairly quickly, so we should be getting going here in yeah. just a minute. So, I know Trey is a very good player. Um, he, I would say he's in the, he's probably in the top, you know, three, top five in the Houston area. Um, I mean, he he has a pretty long history playing uh, Magic competitively. Um, so uh, coming into this game, uh, and he likes this game way more than Magic. So yeah. I mean. Uh, I mean that's why he, that's why he plays it um, as opposed to it as opposed to Magic now. But um, uh, he's he's won a store championship. He's been a bridesmaid at several. Uh, played Poe Maz through most of Spirit of Rebellion. Um, but it was all he would all he always likes to uh, experiment with whatever the top deck is at the moment. Um, so if uh, Funkar's winning, he's gonna play Funkar. If Poe Maz yeah. is winning, he's gonna play that. Um, which is uh, you know, some players uh, frown upon that, but if you I mean, if win. you want to win, like play what's the best, yeah. you know. And uh, you know, like I don't fault anybody for for playing those decks, and I I honestly don't care if I ha if I get paired up against them, you know. Like it Same. just makes it that much more satisfying when yeah. when you are able to win, especially if it's a good player. Yeah, agreed. All right, so my favorite thing about playing strong decks is creating a matchup that beats them and is not favorable for them that most people haven't thought of or come up with yet. I just like playing tier 2 stuff because it's hilarious. <laughs> I, I think it's hilarious when a Pomaz player sits there and they're like, how did I lose this match? That is true. Like, did I just lose to Snap Wexley? What? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. th it's just so funny to me. But um, I'm, sure, I'm sure Rob and I, you know... Uh, we talk. We already talk way too much about Snap Solo because it's just such a. I don't know. It's it's our fun. It's our fun deck. You know. It's it, it's not it's not the top of the top. But you know, if you put a good pilot on it and they practice it, it's like anything. If you just pick a deck you want to play and just play the heck out of it. Yep. Um, and you'll you'll do really well. It doesn't it doesn't matter if it's you know tier one, tier two, tier three, even. You know you can. You can go really far. Yeah, if you make something and it doesn't do well this first time out, don't abandon it. I mean, tweak it, fine tune it, put it together, make it better. Don't just throw it in the garbage and start over. 
So our players are shuffling up. What do you expect? Uh, or do you expect that Desmond's gonna? I don't. Th he's not gonna have as easy enough a time as he did uh, no against way. Dakota. Um, well, he was unless, unless Trey unless Trey rolls as poorly as Dakota was. Well, and Desmond rolls as well. You know, he rolled really well. He did. I mean, for so uh, Trey's just displaying his infamous uh, dice cup he always brings. Uh, <laughs> it's a signature. Yep. As is shuffling his opponent's deck, he yeah. always does that. Yep. No matter what, it doesn't matter if it's a casual game. He's gonna pick up your cards and he's gonna <laughs> shuffle them, and make sure they're thoroughly mixed. That's just who he is. So he's starting off with the fast hands on Ezra. That is disgusting. That is gross. You know, getting that special and being able to steal a resource. Whew. Oh Ooh, man, I, the former one. I, I thought a chunk of his dice like exploded, <laughs> but those are his shields. No, that he got. luckily Mace is still intact. Man, four for one again. Again, gets the special though. He gets the special. I don't know why you're like. Why are you freaking out, man? Because. It's a one in six, and he gets to steal a resource. Well, he's, he just well, he's got two of them, so it's slightly higher than that. But Desmond hitting four damage. He's on still Mace. gonna destroy his economy. So I don't know. He needs to resolve that four for one before oh, yeah. Ezra disrupts him. So oh, he took the resource. Wait, what? what? Oh, he's, so he is resolving. So he's yeah. just gonna go ahead and do the four. And again, what we talked about earlier about you know Mace's four damage side being equivalent to a post special. Um, you yeah. know, that's a third, over a third of Sabine's health. Yep. All it takes is three of those, and it's pretty much game over. Yeah. So Trey dropping running interference immediately. Smart. And I'm assuming he's got uh, either smuggling or uh, some way to get a weapon in his discard pile. He'll probably... So Trey's just explaining to him how running interference worked. Right. I guess I guess Desmond hasn't run up against it at all. And so... He does. He has a loft cat, an X8. He does have a smuggling, so he's gonna get a, be able to get a dollar, get that X8 into his bin, and play it onto Sabine. Um, I'm not sure where that extra. Oh, he just forgot that he stole the dollar with right. uh, Ezra. Uh, Desmond gaining a resource. So this round has been, you know, it hasn't been blowout like we've seen in the previous. Well, rounds, Sabine hasn't but... even rolled in yet. Right. So. You never know, like she could just roll That's eight true. damage. Yeah, fair enough. Just stacking resources. Four resources already on Trace side. And he's gonna disrupt that one that Desmond resolved off of Mace die. Well he's still got one from Maz's die. And he got one from the truce too. Oh he played a truce, mm -hmm. That's right. So he's still sitting on two resources, so he can still get that. How is he sitting on two? Out. Because he took one from Mace, one from Maz, and he played Truce. So he took three, and uh, Ezra's side is he only He spent one. one, and Trey disrupted two, so he only has one resource right now. I thought Trey only disrupted one. He disrupted one, but he stole one with the special. Right, but he got three back from the two resources and the Truce. But he spent one for the four damage. That leaves him with two resources. Okay. <laughs> right, because you get two resources from the round, you take two resources with the dice, and then you truce. That's five resources in total. He spends one okay, for the... yeah, you're right. Right. Question on math. <laughs> Son? Alright, so Trey does play the X8, rolls in, uh, takes the shield on Sabine, and the resource... I think that's What's, a wise choice. I don't he's know what keeping he's... that Lothcat in hand. I don't, th I don't think the Lothcat is that important. I'm curious what he's saving for. I'm sure he's going to turn it to a three... Yeah. Okay. Do the three. That. I, I don't know if the the shield and the resource is worth that much. It's kind of it's kind of like it's kind of like like when you're playing Luke, you know, just reroll till you hit some damage. You know, Desmond has. I don't think there's much he could do. No. Yeah, he had already claimed at that point. Exactly. So yeah, you're right. He did have two, so he has four going into this round. So. Um, so he can drop that Shoto and Ancient Saber. Which I think he should have done prior to rolling. Uh, I guess he wanted to save it if he got the four for one, and he wanted to roll out ahead of uh, Trey so he couldn't, you know, loft cat or do negotiate, which are yellow heroes' main removal options. I think I still would have tried to just go ahead and spend my resources before they go away, or if you know if they go away. So Trey's spinning two. 
He's gonna play a, a another XT. another X8. Why do I keep calling it XT? So now he's overriding with the holdout blaster. And then he's gonna activate and override the, the holdout with the other X8. <laughs> Sabine doing Sabine things. Yep. And watch him god roll right here. <laughs> yeah. Dead mace. I mean, he could do 10 damage, un yeah, un he could, unreactable. He could just blow Mace out right here. And he hits four, it looks like. No, no he hits six. seven. So seven damage that Desmond couldn't <laughs> stop. And I think Desmond's going to need to try to find an impersonate real quick. Yep. Well, he's, he's still sitting on the Ancient Saber, and that's why I said he should have played. I think that should have been played prior to him rolling out. Just because of that blowout potential from from Sabine. You know, you could get the Ancient Saber out, use it this round to hopefully get something out of it damage-wise, and then get rid of it for the heal. And so Trey's right now got a... He does have a second chance in hand. Oh, no. And what what just happened? So Trey used running interference to, so that Desmond couldn't activate. And then he passed. And then Why Trey did he must pass? have passed. He had four damage. He could have resolved. I'm unsure. Maybe Desmond just didn't think about it. Maybe he could he have played a card. Maybe Trey, he didn't anticipate Trey passing and ending the round. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I'm just... Justin is dumbfounded over here. The look on his face is priceless. You don't see it often, but that was pretty good. And again, Desmond choosing to just roll in mace. And maybe maybe that's Desmond just hasn't played against you know enough really experienced players like Trey. Um, you know where that situation has come up where their opponent has passed, so he, he was unsure mm -hmm. of what to do. Because that isn't something you know that you know you you learn. Uh, early on when you're playing. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, Desmond's not a newer player, but... I was just thinking it's often one of those things that you don't take into account for because, I mean, Trey could have re-rolled dice and, and gotten more out of them. He wasn't expecting him to just pass and end the round, I'm sure. I mean, trading seven damage for zero? Yeah, that is, that's bad. The odds just swung in Trey's favor And he hits another three damage on Sabine. And... Probably going to exhaust running interference again. Oh, boy. Sabine's blowout potential is just... Let's see if we can get uh, get our players to... I was going to... Uh, no. We'll, we'll, you wanted we'll... to stop and see what the, what happened? No, I wanted to, to have them move uh, their supports and di their oh, supports okay. over so we could see everything that they have on the table. But... Um, uh, We'll try to denote that in for future matches. Uh, mark that area off so that our players know. Just so we don't miss anything. So Maz coming out, gets a shield. Desmond's probably deciding what he wants to resolve. I mean, you know, this game's... Trey's board state is just massive right now in comparison. I mean, Desmond's could be. He has six resources. Yeah. But the amount of damage that Mace has taken already? Yep. Yeah, Mace is, I mean, Ezra could roll out and kill him. So this round. one thing that's interesting with Mace is he gets around second chance as well. Yep. I didn't think about that until just now. Yeah. So you can use Mace's action when a, a yellow character is down to two health remaining, remove his die and to defeat them. Wait. That is oh nasty. no, is it? Oh I'm no, because sure I don't. I don't. No, never mind. Second chance says before attached character would be defeated. Okay. It doesn't say defeated by damage. Okay. Ancient lights. I was just thinking that it's the Magna Guard that. It, uh, oh, it gets to fatal. defeated by damage. Right. So you could price a failure it, but then it goes. It it's actually dead. I I think I would put the odds over here at just about zero for poor Desmond. Oh, there his damage yeah. potential. It, a turn is two. Yeah. Meanwhile, you've got 12 over there on Trey's side just yeah. about. Yeah, I mean, I can't imagine Desmond's having a good time. I think if I'm him, I just, you Scoop. know, yeah, just shake Trey's hand. Yeah. 
call it a good game and say bye. But Desmond likes to play it out. He knows he's on stream. I don't blame him. Hey, thank you for the follow, Stigalist. Man, I really wanted to see Mace, you know, destroy Sabine. Yeah, I did too. And it looked like we were going to get that after that round one performance. Yeah. It, I mean, he had four damage on round two. He could have resolved. Yeah. Uh, if he had, you know, decided to do that, I, I guess he just got in, got tunnel vision, which is what a lot of Poe Maz players would do. Um, you know, you roll Poe, you roll Maz. Like, that's what you, the deck does. Right. But... You don't have to do that, you know? No. There's a lot more lines of play. Um, a lot of people, you know, bash these competitive decks because they're so straightforward. You do this, you do that, you do this, and then you automatically win. Right. But it's not that simple. Destiny is a very complicated game. Um, and there's a, lot of, there's a lot of lines of play you can take. I agree. So Desmond switching targets. Except for Pomaz. That deck plays itself. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> I'm obviously trolling you. <laughs> so Desmond just I don't know. Out, just I don't know what away. Desmond's even thinking right now. Oh, man. He's probably just like claim, kill yeah. me already, yeah. kill me, <laughs> kill me now, end me. Oh my god, gets the special again. <laughs> just so nasty. And Trey's got that. Sec he's still holding on to that second chance to add insult to injury. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go, Sabine, Thermal Paint, yep. deal two damage for a resource. Why not? I mean, you're stealing that many resources around. Right. Why bother? No guns this time. Yep. Although that's got to feel bad for Desmond. I don't really think that's a good thing. <laughs> I know, Desmond's like, come on. <laughs> Roll guns. <laughs> I think... Yep, there it is. Yeah, that's yep. game. Desmond calling it. Poor Mace, man. Yeah. I think yeah, I want I really wanted to see him take her down. Same. That. That was kind of sad to watch. Yeah. But, you know, it just. It shows like how powerful she is, oh, in yeah. the hands of a skilled player. Oh yeah. Um, which was one of the reasons like we wanted to get this match on stream was to you know see if Mace could stand up to a good player playing. Uh, against a Sabine deck. I so, didn't. Yeah, Desmond didn't get really any out of hand damage that time. Yeah, and I mean he only got the ancient lightsaber down. That was the only upgrade. Yeah. I mean, the the turn two pass into pass was what swung the game in Trey's favor significantly. Very heavily. Taking around seven to zero. <laughs> Loathing Craft says obviously the power of the cup took over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we need to go check that cup <laughs> because. That was nasty. Yeah. So what other decks do you think are in Tier 1 with Sabine as tier so far one. in Empire that we've seen? I know we're still fairly early on, but I think some decks have kind of... What's the word I'm looking for? Are we... Am I taking into account the inevitable rules yeah, update? I would take into account for the rules change. So Rainbow Nine I think is, Anakin Phasma is yeah. really, really strong. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people are playing Kylo Phasma. That's strong as well. Um, but Anakin Phasma is just balls to the wall. like So much damage. Yeah, tons and tons of damage. With almost nothing. Mm -hmm. you, like, you you don't even need to play upgrades. It, no. The character dice are so strong. Yeah. Loathing Crab agreeing with you. Baby Vader Phasma. Yeah. Uh... I can't remember what deck I was playing with, but I played against a... a oh, I was playing my Ahsoka Kanan deck. And I was thinking, oh yeah, this might be an okay matchup. I get lots of shields, and um, I have Force Misdirection to Force Misdirect their specials, or their melee, or guns. And he, like, dealt, like... I think he killed Kanan turn one. <laughs> it was so dumb. He rolled out double specials on Vader to deal six damage. Mm -hmm. And Kane had a shield on him, keep in mind, so he has he's at eleven health. He dealt six damage, so Kane's at five, right? He rolls out Phasma, gets another special and like a focus. He deals the the special for two, and then he claims to deal three to kill Kanan. <laughs> That's so nasty. Yeah, it was it was pretty brutal. Were they running command shuttle? 
No. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, I think that's. I think I'm the only one that runs Command Shuttle. I do. Oh, you do too. Yeah. Command Shuttle is so good it's, in Vader Phasma. If you can get an Enrage off into a Command Shuttle, it's just like, that's 15 damage potential. Exactly, and the Command Shuttle is just as strong, if not, no, it's probably stronger than your character dice and any other upgrade die you could have, ex with the exception of maybe, um, Force Lightning. Yeah. Uh, but even Force Lightning, all, all those sides you have to pay for. So what the command shuttle basically has is because it has what does it have? It has a, a two damage and two special sides. Two damage, two shields, two special sides, and two blanks, I believe. So I mean, you've got four sides on or three sides on there dealing. Yeah, fifty percent. Yeah, fifty percent chance of dealing two or three damage. Yeah. So that's uh, that's stronger than a riot baton. Yep, and you don't have to pay for it either, which is the and, best part. And about it. you. You don't need the consistency of the reroll from the riot baton because you can just claim and mm -hmm. flip that thing to a special. Yeah, I agree. I'm all on, I'm all aboard the hype train for command shuttle. So DJ Big Russ is saying I run command shuttle two. Plus it finally gives me an excuse to use that promo. Yeah. Oh, fair point. <laughs> I saw it. I saw somebody on the uh, the database that was trying to build a deck with every single promo or the absolute most promos they could that have been released trying to put those in a deck. That could be which interesting. Was, which was pretty funny. Uh, it had like ATDP and <laughs> Rend and uh, Death Trooper. Yeah, Death Trooper, Electroshock. It was Krennic. Uh, I don't know if, about Krennic. It was just no, it was just the the Arabesh promos, I think. Oh, okay. But yeah, that Krennic promo was pretty sweet. And actually, I played a Krennic Sienna deck uh, about a week ago. That was, I mean, it's probably terrible against Kylo, but it does a lot of damage. Really. Yes, it. I mean, you're basically rolling five dice if you control the battlefield. True. And then you can heat of battle. Oh yeah. Into ten damage, or you know, we have them now, into yeah. ten d damage. It's, it's actually pretty good. Um. So, anyways, that was uh round three. Round right? three match. Round up three. So the, we're gonna get back for our final round uh, before we cut to top four, and. Uh, uh, Grant's gonna talk a little more because I need to reset the <laughs> <laughs> the will be back screen nice. for when we're gonna be back. Nice. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play a card that I've talked up a lot, which was uh, Ion Disruptor. I guess we still have 16 minutes wrestling around. We can yeah. talk. We can just try to keep these guys entertained some more. Yeah, yeah let's do it, man. I'm down. So, oh, DJ Big Russ is also saying, although since no one uses Command Shuttle, I probably have to get out the regular one anyway to tell people what it does. Oh yeah, true. Rob, the timer is going right now, man. <laughs> Don't you see it? It's there. Right there. Boom. Boom. 15 minutes left. <laughs> we did not forget. I did forget last round, so. Well, yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> or no, or I wasn't going to tell Rob that. I forgot one of those rounds. One of the, the first rounds. Round. Oh, first round, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk some more about uh, some other cards. What card do you think is has a lot of potential in Empire at War? Not, not necessarily underrated or overrated, just something that a lot of card people aren't talking about or playing or just maybe could hurt you in the same sense that it could help you. Hmm. Because the card that sticks out to me like that is Battle of Wills. I mean, a lot of people are only sticking it in Palpatine decks, but I think it's... There are a couple I don't think I would decks. ever play that card. No? Never. Wow. Until they come out with a character that has zero blanks, I'm never playing it. Wow. Fair, fair <laughs> enough. Just destroy that argument. <laughs> <laughs> like, how many times have you played Luke and rolled a shield and a blank? Let's not talk you know? about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it happens. It happens. Point. And it Probably feels bad. Yeah, it does. Uh, appraise. I think Appraise is an incredible card. Yeah. Uh, we talked about Reaping the Crystal, how it it's basically gaining you a resource and um, saving you an action. Uh so, it's basically two actions in one, and appraise being able to remove a resource die to play a support decreasing its cost by two could be Nasty. incredibly good yeah. in uh, you know like a hero vehicle deck um, or a Lando deck. Like if uh, let's say you roll Lando's three for one deck side, and uh, you can just play this and remove that three for one if you don't have a dollar to to pay for it and play a air speeder or true, but. I don't know. I, I mean, it's not, it's not amazing, but 
I think I think it's it, I think it could have some really interesting uses that players haven't just haven't come up with yet. I agree. Weapons cash. That's what you're thinking of. It's another one that I really think is underrated, but it's tough to find a spot for it. You know, even when you build an ECAD Phasma deck, it's just like where do you put it? I mean, wouldn't you rather just play the two upgrade on on CAD and get the activation? So weapons cash. Uh, yellow, two cost, neutral, uh, got a plus two gun, uh, focus, resource, and two specials. And the special lets you play a weapon to, from your hand, decreasing it by two. So, I mean, it's a risky play, but I think the long run, it's, it's almost, it seems worth it to me. Yeah, early on in, uh, Awakenings, I played Black Market in my Poe with two hired guns deck. And that was actually pretty cool, being able to draw two cards and play one of them, decreasing its cost. Um, but as the game's evolved, I just think there's better ways to get the resources you need to play those weapons. Yeah, I guess that's than, true. Than having an additional die you need to roll in. Yeah, it slows you down quite a bit. I mean, like, you could you could have, like, a weapons cache, you know, discard it, get a resource, and then truce into your second resource. Yeah. Um, I don't know where this could be. Yeah, I just don't know if there's enough time to get the value out of it. Yeah, because you need it round one. So if you draw it round three, like, yeah, that feels really bad. It's the same thing with it binds all things. Yeah, but I mean, it's not quite as good as it binds all things because it binds all things is guaranteed cost reduction. True. And it pays for itself the first time you use it. True. I mean, this does pay for itself. The first time you use it, if you roll a special, which only has a 33% chance of doing. Right. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe there's some other players. I mean, maybe Grant will <laughs> finally convince me <laughs> that this card is good. Uh, and, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll play around with it and see. I'll see what I can come up with. Yeah. I think the only place that you it would go is ECAD Phasma, just because of the cheat you get from CAD Bane. So you can cheat in and ambush weapons. Well, Cad Bane's uh, cheat is a is an action. So you you could play a weapon on him, but then if you use his uh, additional action, right? But you get the ambush from a weapon you play because almost every Cad Bane weapon, almost every upgrade you're gonna play in Cad Phasma is gonna. Right. What I'm saying ambush. though is, if you resolve the. Uh, oh, you're saying because of the, the playing. Right. Right, because 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 Cad Bane's ability is an action. You have to right. declare you're taking that action. It's not whenever you play an upgrade on him. Right. Like it's not like Ray. Yeah, because Ray, whenever you play an upgrade on her, you get another action. Right. But Cad Bane, you have to say, I'm using Cad Bane's action. I'm gonna play this upgrade and activate him. That makes sense. Yeah. So. Well, then I don't know where that goes. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, so anyways, there's about ten minutes left in the round. Uh, so we'll be back around. 435 probably uh we'll see if uh matt can <laughs> avoid uh, going time. to time yeah this round and uh then we'll give our players uh a couple minutes to uh set up and get our pairings and round set up so again we'll be back at four four thirty five so and we might be back sooner to just chat a little bit we might uh we might actually bring somebody in here and interview them we're, we're probably going to try to do that um a little bit here later today we we haven't interviewed uh, any of our players in a while and it would just be uh good to get some of them in there them in here and have them talk about uh where they see the game going and um where they see the houston meta going so yeah all right so we'll be back uh we'll try not to be late this time yeah stay with us guys <laughs> 